Let's delve deeper into each step and subtopic of designing a URL shortener. Step 1. Understand the problem and establish design scope. Introduction to the problem. Provide context on the importance of URL shortening services, their usage in modern web applications, and the need for designing an efficient and scalable solution. Clarification questions. Offer a comprehensive list of questions to ask the interviewer to gain clarity on various aspects of the problem, ensuring a thorough understanding of requirements and constraints. Use cases and requirements. Expand on the identified use cases, emphasizing the critical functionalities of URL shortening and redirection, and outline the specific requirements such as traffic volume, URL length, character constraints, and system scalability. Step 2. Propose high-level design and get buy-in. API endpoints. Provide detailed descriptions and examples of the RESTful API endpoints for URL shortening and redirection, including the request and response formats, HTTP methods, and expected behaviors. URL redirecting. Explain the process of URL redirection using HTTP status codes like 301, permanent redirect, and 302, temporary redirect, highlighting the implications of each approach on server load and analytics. URL shortening. Explore different approaches to generating short URLs, comparing hash functions and base 62 conversion methods, and discussing their advantages, limitations, and potential implementation challenges. Step 3. Design Deep Dive. Data Model. Elaborate on the transition from in-memory hash tables to a relational database for storing, short URL, long URL, mappings, including database schema design, indexing strategies, and considerations for scalability and performance. Hash function. Provide an in-depth analysis of hash function requirements and implementations, including the nuances of hash plus collision resolution and base 62 conversion approaches with detailed explanations and examples. URL shortening and redirecting flows. Offer a step-by-step -step breakdown of the URL shortening and redirection processes, covering interactions with the database, caching mechanisms, error handling, and optimization techniques for improved performance. Step four, wrap up. Summary of design aspects. Summarize the key components and decisions made during the design process, highlighting the rationale behind design choices and their implications on system functionality and performance. Additional talking points. Expand on supplementary topics such as rate limiting, web server and database scaling strategies, analytics integration, and best practices for ensuring high availability, consistency, and reliability of the URL shortening service. By providing a more detailed exploration of each step and subtopic, you'll gain a deeper understanding of the intricacies involved in designing a robust and efficient URL shortener.